If there is going to be peace and legislation, there cannot be war and investigation. It just doesn't work that way. President Donald Trump's rhetoric about the Russia investigation might seem unprecedented. But over 40 years ago, President Richard Nixon used similar tactics to defend himself against Watergate. I believe the time has come to bring that investigation and the other investigations of this matter to an end. One year of Watergate is enough. There are many differences. Trump is not Nixon. And the Russia investigation is not Watergate. But both scandals led to the departure of senior officials, dozens of criminal charges, and allegations of a cover-up. I had no prior knowledge of the Watergate break-in. Nixon, much like Trump, always relished the opportunity to publicly proclaim his innocence. I welcome this kind of examination because people have got to know whether or not their president is a crook. Well, I'm not a crook. I've earned everything I've got. When you talk about innocent, I am truly not involved in any form of collusion with Russia, believe me. That's the last thing I can think of to be involved in. President Nixon touted his cooperation with investigators, as did President Trump. As far as the investigation, nobody has ever been more transparent than I have instructed our lawyers. Be totally transparent. I believe we've given them 1.4 million pages of documents. I have provided to the special prosecutor voluntarily a great deal of material. I believe that I have provided all the material that he needs to conclude his investigations and to proceed to prosecute the guilty and to clear the innocent. Both presidents later shifted their approach and went on the attack. They argued that the probes distracted from the real issues and they distanced themselves from key players wrapped up in the investigation. I first learned from news reports of the Watergate break-in. I was appalled at this senseless, illegal action. It doesn't implicate me in any way. There was no collusion, there was no obstruction, there was no nothing. But now we must move on from Watergate to the business of the people. And the business of the people is continuing with the initiatives we began in the first administration. They ought to get to the end of it because I think the American public is sick of it. Both Nixon and Trump fired the people overseeing their respective investigations, Archibald Cox and James Comey, raising questions of obstruction of justice. In all of my years of public life, I have never obstructed justice. There was no obstruction. I mean, if you, unless you call obstruction the fact that I fight back, I do fight back. I really fight back. I mean, if you call that obstruction, that's fine. But there's no obstruction. Let us not allow what a few overzealous people did in Watergate tar the reputation of the millions of dedicated Americans of both parties who fought hard but clean for the candidates of their choice in 1972. I wanted to be sure that Nixon often seethed about the leaks of private information. He felt the FBI could not be trusted and said it was filled with leakers trying to undermine him. Trump also railed against the so-called deep state inside the Justice Department. Unelected deep state operatives who defy the voters to push their own secret agendas are truly a threat to democracy itself. You see, the thing is that there's a lack of discipline over there in the president's And I believe that's part of the problem with the morale. That's part of the problem with the police. Have to get to those leakers, Mr. President? Okay. We're going to find the leakers. We're going to find the leakers. <laughs> They're going to pay a big price for leaking. <laughs> to push back against stories he didn't like, Nixon repeatedly attacked the press. I have never heard or seen such outrageous, vicious, distorted reporting in 27 years of public life. He called out specific outlets and complained that news organizations were spending too much time on Watergate. We've had 30 minutes of this press conference. I have yet to have, for example, one question on the business of the people, which shows you our, how we're consumers. Every st network that you see, with the exception of Fox, Fox has been fair, but every network you see, 
hits me on every topic, made up stories like Russia. For over four months, Watergate has dominated the news media. During the past three months, the three major networks have devoted an average of over 22 hours of television time each week to this subject. The fake news is, in fact, and I hate to say this, in fact, the enemy of the people. The press is the enemy. The press is the enemy. The press is the enemy. The establishment is the enemy. The professors are the enemy. The professors are the enemy. Write that in the black or 100 copies and never forget it. In 1974, secret recordings made it clear that Nixon was complicit in the Watergate cover-up. I have never been a quitter. To leave office before my term is completed is abhorrent to every instinct in my body. But as president, I must put the interests of America first. Once those tapes were released, Republicans in Congress withdrew their support and Nixon was forced to resign. I shall resign the presidency effective at noon tomorrow. Trump has maintained the backing of GOP lawmakers and Republican voters alike. My fellow Americans. Only time will tell how history remembers his handling of the Russia investigation. Thank you and good night. <laughs>